Welcome to another episode of AKRME Fitness, your favorite YouTube fitness channel. In this episode, you have myself and Jazz featured, and we are doing um, a hit exercise where we throw the ball and hit the target, and then I do burpees. She said she wasn't doing no burpees, so she just uh, hit the target more times than I did. I did 10 reps of this exercise. She did 20. Um, once again, this is another throwback. This has been years and years past, but I never uploaded it. So I'm trying to just give you a little bit of different variations. So I'm, I'm throwing these, um, some of these older ones in, really trying to get them all uploaded too, since I haven't, you know, ever, ever put them on, on this channel. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going on here. The story that we tell ourselves about ourselves to a great deal is going to govern how we feel about ourselves, how we behave, how we act. Because if you don't believe that you can do something, then how much effort are you going to put into doing something? Whereas, if you believe that you're capable of achieving it, you're going to go at it much, much harder. If you believe, if you, if you tell yourself that you are a fit individual, then when you approach a situation where being fit is necessary, then you feel like you have the confidence to achieve it because you already believe that you are a fit individual. So, mindset is everything. Get your mind together and hit the gym. Yeah, people in the world are going to try to make you um, mad and negative, um, but when you don't allow them to, that means you're displaying self-control, and the opposite of self-control means somebody else is controlling you, so that if you allow them to make you mad, you're letting them control you, so display self-control and don't let other individuals upset you, and that is a very, very, very great accomplishment, so uh, seek to, to accomplish that in your life. Don't be thrown off center by other individuals. That's advice that I have to follow myself. I honestly feel like when you get to that point in your life, you don't even have to say it out loud. Your actions and your your um, attitude and everything about you will show that, that it's time for you to make that change. And people will be able to see it on you and feel it coming off of you. Um, and honestly, I feel like I'm in that, that position right now where I am reverting back to my original form as far as um, my attitude and everything is concerned so you know it, it, it happens and when it happens like I said it, it's not always necessary for, for us to just say it because sometimes we'll say stuff and it'll just be for show but if you are actually meaning you're actually changing then you'll just do what it takes to change and um, like I said the people people in the world will see God will see and he will reward you um, for your efforts. So let's break this down. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. That means being perpetually optimistic or being optimistic often multiplies force. Well, what force does it multiply? Well, optimistic force of course if whatever good is to come to you is multiplied because you are constantly optimistic you're constantly attracting good things to you because you're constantly thinking positive thoughts and so positive thoughts or positive results come to you so always be positive so that you can perpetuate optimism and gain the force of positivity We're all at different places in our fitness journey. We all um, have different reasons for, for undertaking it and we all have different goals. So why would you compare yourself with somebody else? Your goals might not be the same as theirs. Your reasons for working out might not be the same as theirs. And the, the place that you started is probably not the same as where they started. So don't worry about anybody else. Just worry about yourself and um, put in the work and get fit. way to build confidence in yourself and build faith in yourself is to tell yourself the truth and you tell yourself the truth by doing what it is that you say you're going to do 
Um, this one guy was saying about how that you you seem superhuman when you not only do what you say you're gonna do, but you do what you say you're gonna do and do, then do one more. So like I said, do what you say you're gonna do, then do some more, and then you will appear to be superhuman. You can never be too hungry. Lack of hunger is what makes you complacent. Once you get complacent, that's when you fall off. Um, I've seen people do it all the time. They get to a certain point and they feel like, oh, okay, that's that's good, man. I, I'm, I'm, that's when people feel like it, fitness is a, journey, uh, uh, a destination, not a lifetime journey. They hit that destination and they lose their hunger. And not long after, they lose their fitness. So stay hungry. Pain helps you grow because while you're in the midst of pain, you have to either find a way to alleviate the pain or find a way to operate within the pain. And as you do that, then you, you, you've learned something. You've learned how to um, be a stronger person on, on one level or another because you know, or stronger or smarter or both because you get smarter if you're able to figure out a way to alleviate the pain. And if you're able to operate within the pain, that means that you've gotten stronger. So, Pain is not, not your enemy. Pain is really just teaching you how to be a better person on one level or another. The magnitude of your results correlates directly to the magnitude of your efforts. The amount of effort you put in is the amount of um, results you're gonna get out. So don't put forth a little bit of effort and expect a lot of results. If you want a lot of results, you're gonna have to do a whole lot of work and that's just the way that life is. You know, a lot. Sometimes I am unsociable, but with with uh, God's help, He's bringing me out of that, and I'm um, using this this channel to uh, expose me to people and bring me out of that. But getting fit is definitely better than getting drunk. I haven't drunk had a drink in over 20 years. Never had a legal drink in my life. So yeah, getting fit is definitely better than getting drink drunk to me. You want to hear the story? Uh, hit me up, man. I tell you about it. As far as me and and not drinking is concerned. Twenty four seven, thinking about fitness, working about fitness, or promoting fitness to you guys. Guess what? I'm promoting fitness right now. That's exactly what I'm doing through my YouTube channel. So, yeah, fitness is, is definitely my life. It um, and so twenty four seven fitness. Truth be told, most people trying to build a uh, summer body, um don't because their conviction isn't strong enough they have uh temporary convictions and and you know getting getting fit usually is supposed to be a permanent thing so if you have temporary uh, your, your why just isn't strong enough i guess i should say um as eric thomas um says you know your why is just to be fit for the summer and that's not a very strong why so it's not gonna drive you to to get fit like you're supposed to so Try to make it a lifestyle thing if that's what you really want to do. Otherwise, you know, I mean, you can try, but I'm just saying. As always, I want to thank you for watching another episode of AKRME Fitness, where we create a climate conducive for our clients to gain confidence and change the world one workout at a time. With that being said, me and Jazz are out of here, but we'll be back soon with more hit exercises for you. See you guys then.